Hello guys, in one of my recent videos I've reviewed an open source project called Larabug and specifically this query with Laravel Eloquent Collections and I praised it as really elegant and I liked this solution. So you get the data and then you group by with collections and map with collections. Pretty elegant. But I decided to test its performance in real life scenario. Somehow I had a feeling that this grouping is better to serve from database directly, so from SQL query, from Eloquent, than from collections. But I've seen quite a lot of such decisions in other people's code, so it's totally normal, but let's test the performance. And I've recreated a small database with just exceptions, one table, it's not the same as in the Larabug project, but 10,000 records of exceptions, and let's try to group them by date of created ad for the report. And first we do that with collection, and then we do it with SQL query, with Eloquent query. So the way how it's done in Larabug, pretty similar. So we get the records, oldest, so order by date. Then we select only created ad, so that's already a performance improvement. Then we get all the records. Then we group them by created ad with formatting as carbon object. And then we map, leaving only the count of exceptions, so amount of records. To show you how the result looks like, I will use a tool called Spotty Laravel Ray. It's not a free tool, but I'm not affiliate with that in any way, I just use it myself. So Laravel Ray shows the result in something like that. So instead of doing DD, I do Ray, and it's more convenient in my opinion. So I refresh the page, and I have installed Laravel Debug Bar as well, by the way. This is the result. This is how it looks in the collection. In the view, I just do a simple list, so for each of the exceptions, date and value, so key and value. And this is the result of that collection operation, which looks pretty cool. So the final result is exactly key value pair that you need. And if we take a look at the performance again in the browser in Laravel debug bar, there's one query to the database, which is cool. And in total, it's 15 megabytes of memory and 0.6 of a second. Also important thing is 10,000 models. This shows that we're actually fetching from the database all 10,000 exceptions and only then grouping. And this is the actual main question. Who should group the data? Database or PHP? And of course, it's just one experiment, but let's finish it off. Let's listen to the other part, so to speak, in the court, and let's try to do it with database query. So this is the query. Instead of old query, I just do select row and group by date with my SQL function. And we will see the result with Ray. There's a separate function called model or models from what I remember. So remember 15 megabytes and 597, we refresh the page. And here's the result. Well, I forgot to change in the blade. There should be a different for each. So instead of just date and value, key value pair, it's an object with property, so date and exceptions. So visually it looks better now like this. But now look at the result. Five megabytes of RAM, 149 millisecond. Instead of 0.6 of a second, it's 0.1 or 0.2 and 11 models used. Same database query, not the same database query. So one query here and one query there, but the database performs the operation of grouping instead of doing that in PHP. And look at the difference in the result. So one conclusion from that could be that you shouldn't use collection for grouping the data and you should leave that to the database, but not necessarily. There are cases where collections and grouping by collections make sense when on the same page you have several grouping. So you still need all the data, all the exceptions, but then you may group by one thing, group by another thing and stuff like that. So for example, if you get the exceptions like this, and then you need to get some aggregated calculations, like for example, exceptions, maximum of created at, exception, average of, I don't know, severity, for example, if there is such a value, in my case, it isn't. Basically, you need to transform the data from the database into several collections or several results or several variables. Then it makes sense to get all the data from the database and then perform grouping or various types of grouping in the collections. But generally, if you have a question between doing SQL query, eloquent query versus collection grouping, in most of the cases, you should do that on the database level. What do you think? Am I wrong? Maybe. Do you have any case to defend the collection part? And you know that collection grouping is faster 
or better in some way. It's not only about performance, maybe it's more readable or there are other convenient things. Just shoot in the comments and let's share our experience. And if you want more videos with tips like this one, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of new videos, and also support the channel financially by checking out one of the products that you can see on the screen now. The more you buy of those, the more I have time to shoot daily videos on YouTube for you guys. See you guys in other videos.